Hey, what's up, foodies, and welcome to Moroccan Food Talk Cooking Show. And today, it's gonna be juicy. Today, we're making two different types of juice. The first one is milk based, and the second one is orange based. So, the first one is an avocado shake with dates, walnuts, almonds, risen. And the second one is a simple smoothie, orange juice mixed with some apple, pears, and strawberries. You know, this is one of my favorite foods of all time. And for those of you that had the tour with me, you know, the juice stop is one of my favorite. So I will always recommend either Zaza or this panache, as we call them right here. <laughs> Further talk, let's just dive into it. All right, first of all, you're gonna start with your avocado. Cut them in half, do that twist, chefy thing to take the seed out, and then in quarters. Basically, it should go just with your finger, but if you're like me, unlucky, and you having such a hard avocado like this, just stick with the knife. Once you're done with the avocado, just toss them in the blender and add your dried fruits mixture. This is some resin and some dates. So we'll go for the resin first and then... Oops, if one of the dates fell like me, don't bother yourself and continue what you're doing. Now you can see why this one is called Zaza, because it has all those nutritious ingredients. So let's continue with the rest of the dried fruits. So here we do have some walnuts and almonds. They go straight in and we add the milk. Well here, depends on how thick you want your shake. Blenders goes on and if you're a fan of that sound, means that you like a thick shake like me. Let's dive now to our second juice. First we're gonna start with the fruits. So the Moroccan panache is basically made with any fruits available on the season. And as you can see, I removed some of the bad parts of the skin from the pears. And I left all the apple with the skin on to add more texture to my juice. I will leave this one and this one too for decoration because they look beautiful. And then we continue just removing the green part of the strawberry, the head, whatever you want to call it. Fast forward to those last two sad strawberries. As you can see, they look very yellowish. And then we add our orange juice. This is a fresh squeezed orange juice. You can use any orange juice available on your fridge. Look at the beautiful, wonderful color. Now time to do some of the final touches for the presentation and yeah, that's it. And now, let's give it a taste. Mmm, yeah, naturally sweet very balanced. The sweetness from the fruits kind of balance the, the sourness of the oranges. Mm. This is an all-time favorite, by the way. This thing, really not with a straw. This is a spoon thing. Very thick, very creamy, rich. Mm. Tons of flavor and at the same time very homogeneous uh, taste to it. Yeah. Mm. The toppings here are just incredible. 
Add some more texture. Mm. Wow. Here you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I miss so much those days where we used to have this on the streets with my guests. So yeah, Zaza, at home, stay safe. Wait, by the way, if it happens that Morocco is in your bucket list after this whole pandemic situation, please do yourself a favor and book some of our tours. Websites in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Mm. You didn't subscribe yet? What, what, what are you waiting for? <laughs>